Are you struggling with how to communicate effectively using monday.com with your coworkers? Let me show you five tips that will greatly improve your communication so nothing falls through the cracks. Hi, my name is Tara and I'm a certified monday.com partner and the founder of Simple Day. My goal is to help you build powerful yet simple workflows with monday.com. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the description below. Let's jump into today's tutorial and make Monday the best part of your week. Communication is key for every team to function and to actually get things done. I'd love to hear in the comment section below where your team is having difficulty communicating. Today, I'm gonna to share five tips that are gonna help you communicate within monday.com. The first is the update section. If you click on an item on this plus button, you can see here that I have an update section. Now I can write something here, but an even better way to communicate with my team would be to mention someone. So I can click on this mention button and you can see that I can add a specific person add everyone on the board or everyone on this task. So for this example, I'm going to mention Justin and I'm going to say, Hey, Justin, when will this be ready? Now, Justin has been tagged, so he is going to get a notification about this task as soon as I hit update. So using the update section and specifically mentioning people is the first way to communicate effectively with your team. The next way to communicate is on a board discussion level. Sometimes communication doesn't need to be about a specific task, but maybe a general topic. So I can click on a board discussion. Now what I can do is I can mention either a specific person or everyone on this team. So when I write something here, let's just say, I just want to say happy new year, make sure to update whatever I want them to update. So if I hit update, every single person on this board will receive a notification and this update. So I'm effectively communicating with everyone that's on this board. The third way to communicate with someone about a specific task is actually to add another people column. You can see here that I have a system called Batman and Robin. Batman is basically the person in charge, the person managing the task, like they're responsible for it. And Robin is the person that's actually doing the task. So by simply assigning people, I'm communicating something with them. Like I'm telling them you are assigned to this task. In this specific example, it is very clear who the Batman is and who the Robin is. Obviously you can do this for like supervisor or manager, you know, versus employee or someone that needs to approve something. But once you develop within your company culture, what being assigned means, that is an easy way to communicate that. Now I've taken this a step further by using status columns. So the next way to effectively communicate is to integrate status columns. Now you can see I have a status here called Batman review and Robin review. So if let's say Justin is doing this task and he has a question for me, he will mention me in the update section, but he will also mark the task as Batman review. So not only is he communicating with me, Hey, Tara, you need to review this task, but it's also clear. Like the whole team is being communicated with and seeing that this is a task that's no longer in Justin's hands. It's in my hands. And the same thing with Robin review. Now, the last way to communicate is using automations. Now, automations can build on these statuses, or you can build an automation simply that says, when it changes to Batman review, notify Batman, or when a person is assigned, notify that person. You're communicating with them that they have a task that's assigned to them or something that they need to do. I will add one last point, even though it is not part of my five tips for effective communication. If your team uses Slack, you can easily integrate Slack to monday.com so you can communicate there as well. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and remember to subscribe to receive tips and tricks on how to use monday.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.